Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play American Tale Five Goes West, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So yeah, you definitely have to watch out in the desert because, well, you'll have to deal with, well, like sand that'll collapse from under you. So watch out to make sure that you don't fall into any holes. Music here is actually pretty catchy, too. Like, it definitely has that feel of a Wild West. You know, as opposed to, like, the rest of the game so far. Well, I guess World 3 kind of had that feel. Apparently, the cactus does not hurt you. But I think it can sink into it, and it probably will later. So, obviously, just jump off right away as soon as you get the chance. Unless you're invincible, then it doesn't matter. Get out of here, you stupid vulture. Oh, <laughs> stupid Caterpie. Slow as hell. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. So, yeah. The caterpillars, I you just noticed a couple minutes ago, or literally a minute ago, when you shoot them, they break up into bits, and you have to shoot, like, the segments as well. Otherwise, you'll still get hurt. Oh, that sun is way too close. I'm afraid it's gonna, like, come down and hurt me like it's Mario 3. Look how close it is! <laughs> it's just... It looks so ridiculous! Scorpions are a bit annoying, too. Because they use those pincers to protect them. But once you take them out, then they have nothing to uh, protect them. Weirdly enough, if you shoot them in the back, it still hits the pincers instead, which makes no sense. Well, I guess that's Super Nintendo logic for ya. <laughs> I have invincibility again. Kind of just makes things a little too out of hand. Ah, uh, didn't really get a chance to take advantage of it. Alright, fine. I think the scorpion moves a little bit faster when its pincers are gone. Oh, jeez, I couldn't jump fast enough. I'm pretty close to death, I just noticed. If I don't land right on the scorpion, that would have sucked. Okay, it doesn't move any faster, alright. That was just my imagination playing tricks on me. It's like a mirage, because, you know, we're in a desert, and that was cheap. I kind of hate when you, like, make a blind jump, and guess what? You just land right on an enemy. I mean, what could I have done there? I was on a cactus, so I couldn't just, like, stay to look down. I mean... Some of you are probably thinking, Bongo, why don't you just stay on the side of the cactus so that you have something to land on? Like, this game is weird to make you think that, like, just landing on a cactus is safe. Okay, now I'm definitely gonna die again. The scorpions also have that annoyance. Oh, really? Oh, I'm wasting valuable time. And, uh, well... You know, they fire their pincers at you like a boomerang. So sometimes you'll get hit by that. And there's little you can do if it's firing upward. I think we can pull this off now. I hope. You know, wishful thinking. That was the same scorpion that killed me last time. Not falling for that again. And that was literally the last enemy I needed to fight before I ended the stage. Oh, that rots me. Oh, it's nighttime now. Hey, Kapora from Zelda. Why am I fighting skulls? 
Like, this is just weird necromancy shit on the go. I keep thinking those stars are gonna hurt me as well. Oh, the skulls are not really threatening at all. If I shot all those platforms, would I just be unable to get that checkpoint? Okay, so invincibility only counts as doing one HP worth of damage. So it doesn't even outright kill them. Wonder if there's anything good in here. Oh my god, I, I got bad timing to hit, hit these blocks. Oh, it was just literally money. That was it. Alright, well, there we go. Can't believe I'm gonna finish this game in like, what, two episodes? That's ridiculous. This is a very short game. Oh, I don't remember this boss very well at all. I'm taking on this eagle. Oh god. It's basically Storm Eagle oh, of all the places I can land. It would be the very the very small gap. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe I'll stand a little bit closer to the right. When's I gonna drop the boulder? Okay, for some reason, even though he's facing away from me. The flapping still sends me further away from him. Okay, so we gotta wait for him to come back. So each time he drops a rock, it destroys a part of the bridge. Unless it just happens to, like, hit the rocks. I'm fine with that. Because that means the part of the bridge is safe. This is going to be an annoying boss to hit if it just keeps flying into the foreground. Because I don't have many opportunities to hit it. Oh, pfft. Okay, that, that was a weird death animation. And why did... Why did the bridge and the rocks just disappear? Was what I was standing on tied to the life force of the eagle? That makes no sense! Um, okay, oh wait, that's a hawk. I thought that was an eagle. I'm not awesome in my verbology. I'll just level with ya. Okay, I think we made it to the last world. You always say that. Alright, so here we go. Can't believe we might finish this in like less than 20 minutes. Well, this video, not this Let's Play. Get out of here, you stupid snake. I know this might be your natural habitat, but come on. Let me have my moment. I'm a mouse with a gun. You just throws a, throws a random boulder. Oh god, that's a big one. Okay, I just noticed that whenever you get... You pick up another, like, cork weapon from the power-ups, you actually shoot more frequently. Well, I haven't seen one of those in a while. Yay, one up! That was worth wasting my invincibility time. Why did I need that one up anyway? I have like 10 lives now. Okay, you can stand on the boulders. That's very convenient. Okay, you cannot shoot the snakes when they're down onto the ground, even though your corks can directly hit them. The small snakes, you can pretty much do whatever you want. 
All right, we made it to Green River, despite the fact it's not green and I don't see a river. It's like Iceland and Greenland. They just lie to ya. Is this what you do to random guests? Just throw bombs? No wonder you guys are not making any money. Oh, wow. Pick the worst timing to jump up there. Alright, I'll get my health back. Uh, should I just get up here? Why does this place need so many hotels, anyway? Maybe you should start working on basic hospitality before you get, like, I don't know, 3,000 hotels on the go. Is this another hotel? No, that's just a house. They like to throw bombs for no reason. They got nothing better to do with their lives. I mean, there wasn't much on the go during these times. Maybe the only thing they could do is just throw bombs at random mice. Times were rough. So are these jabronis. There. Just pretty much serves an off-screen death. Oh, alright, well, kinda glad I did not land directly on him. Look at his eyes! He just looks so derpy. Okay, there's saloons, too. They still throw bombs, though. So I ain't thinking any of my money. None of my $84! Which probably equals up to... I don't know what that would buy you at this time. Like, the buying power nowadays is... I don't know. Maybe cost of living here wasn't so bad. You know, you just buy a home for like three bucks. And maybe a stick of chewing gum. And maybe a few tumbleweeds. Whoa, okay. He hit me anyway. That sucks. And, well, good thing I finished the level because I was almost dead. Alright, let's keep going. Did I really make it to the last part? Oh. Okay, I just went inside a building. Who keeps driving these snakes anyway? Samuel L. Jackson's gonna be pissed. It's like the villain's saloon with poisonous snakes. That was not a Samuel L. Jackson voice. <laughs> At all. I think that's a hole, so... Even though I know what's directly below me, I should not fall down it. Oh, this must be the final boss. Okay, I see what I gotta do. I gotta jump on his head. No, I gotta jump on his hat! And then shoot him in the head. I'm lucky. Did I just kill him? Uh, okay. Wait a minute. It's not over. It's not ogre, man. Or maybe he just dies and explodes. Only to appear O. I don't like that you're that close. Oh, I screwed up. Okay, so I guess it's like, um, you gotta do this for like each floor of the saloon. Look, you ain't ma making mouse burgers out of me, all right? Oh God. Okay, good, he gave me an out. Almost had him. This looks so weird. Like, he's only just going to the next floor, even though he's blowing up. Can 
Cheddar Wall, I think was his name. He doesn't look that evil, but a bit of a snob. Oh, okay. There, Feline Tuxedo Mask is down. There isn't a basement. Oh, okay. I'll just appear here. Oh, there's my family. Hey, I just get a star. That oh my god, that star is large. I can fit that over my head. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that is his name, Catarwall. Oh, this this let's play ended in what? Less than an hour. Five, old my son. You're not so little anymore. You are a regular Western hero. No, he's still little. His size did not change. Grew bigger in spirit, yes, but he's still a small guy or a small mouse. And that's it. That's. An American Tale, Five Will Goes West for the Super Nintendo. So, what do I think about this game overall? Well, I didn't really have much time to think about it. But, the gameplay was actually really good. It was simplistic, but it worked and wasn't very janky at all. So, would I recommend this? Well, yes. But, think about like how much you're going to spend on it, though. Because you're probably only going to play it maybe once or twice. And you don't get to play it for that long until you get to the end. And that's if you're really good at platforming. So it's a little too short if you're going to spend a nice chunk of money. Maybe as a collector's item, but that's as far as I would go. So anyway, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching everybody, and I shall see you next time.